It's okay to say it to each other and to ourselves. Every time my friends complain about how stressed they are, I tell them it's okay. However, I understand the feeling of not being okay. Even though other people look at it and think it's not a problem at all, you, as a person in the center of your own universe, think your world is collapsing. When I first came to the US, I didn't understand anything in class. I wanted to go back to China and give up on myself. When I lost the National Taekwondo Championship by one point, I cried. When I had to hike in poor Rain in Yosemite, I felt hopeless. When I argued with my parents about tedious things in life, I just wanted to leave the house and never come back. When I had a B minus towards the end of the trimester, I had, I had nightmares about that being my final grade. And the deadlines for college application approach, I'm pressured to do all the work to submit up my applications and still I'm worried about not getting to the college of my choice. Sometimes it's academic struggles, sometimes it's just life in general, and sometimes it could be both. If someone says it's okay at the moment you're struggling, we don't take it seriously. Instead, you probably want to throw a punch at that person because it is not okay at that moment. However, the truth is, things will turn out to be okay in the end. If you don't believe that, here are some evidence. I didn't understand much English five years ago, but now I'm standing up here and giving a speech. I lost the Taekwondo Championship that year, but the second year I came back and won. We suffered at Yosemite, but we got back early one day, and that experience became our valuable memory. After my argument with my parents, we still sat down at the same table and had dinner together. I freaked out about my B- minus at the time, but I still ended up with an A for that trimester. Even though I was stressed writing my college essays, I will probably get into a college that will be a good fit for me. See, things turned out to be okay. Although we understand that, in the end, results will be okay, we still struggle during the process. Life might not still be painful and hard to get through, but now let me say it is okay one more time. Keep in mind that it's totally okay to not be okay. When the sun rises again, things will be better. Try your best to change and improve the situation. Don't be passive, be active. Good things might arrive late, but they will arrive. If you have never experienced the bad, then you will never appreciate the good. So it's okay to struggle. So just remember that it will be okay in the end. If you want to love, then love. It's your life, so enjoy every minute. As long as you are happy about it, go for it. To me, life is like a sign graph. It goes up and down and then up and down again. But the range is always from negative one to one. Life may not ever exceed one, but trust me, it won't go below negative one either. Everything will be okay in the end. Shout out, Miss Blanchett. I'm so glad to be your advisor. You made my high school life complete. You're more than a teacher to me, and thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Mr. Brahma, um, you're the only reason why I took three years of physics in high school. I, I enjoy our physics class very much. Mr. Marr, I always enjoy hearing all the stories you tell us. Thank you for everything you've done for our school. My advisor, I can never ask for a better group of people to spend my four years with. We had so much fun in our, in our advisory, and each one of you has an interesting soul, and I cannot wait to see what we will accomplish in the future. My friends, you guys bring so much laughter into my life. We're like a family, and all of you are like my brothers and sisters. We know each other too well and experience so much together. We will never lose contact in the future because I won't let that happen. Thank you for being so amazing. I love you guys. My family, I would not be who I am today if I was not born in this family. Thanks for letting me be who I am. I will always be appreciated for having this family. Thank you.